Hello everyone, this is Nat Green from natgreenonline.com. A few days later, they upgraded and I made $1,000. Hey guys, Nat Green here, and I uh, was just watching a video that was really cool. Um, as many of you know, I'm a you know big uh, snowboarder. In fact, I used to own a snowboard and skateboard shop for a number of years, and you know compete on a semi-pro level and all that sort of fun stuff. And I was just watching a video of a pro snowboarder named Jeremy Jones, who uh, he's one of those guys. He's an extreme uh, wild man in the backcountry and he does some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. And anyway, I was watching a video of him where he actually went to Turkey, and I, I didn't even know this. I think I'd heard about this like, I don't know, six months ago, but anyway, apparently in Turkey, in the mountains, in these little villages, uh, snowboarding has been around for about 400 years, even before you know it was invented here in North America. And it was a bunch of, the, you know, like the village men, you know, they were bored in the winter time and they basically nailed um, you know, wooden boards together and tied a rope around the front and they would actually use a stick as a bit of a rudder and they would ride down the hills. And what was cool is Jeremy was uh, hanging out with this 70 year old guy and he was saying, you know, he did it since I think he was like seven years old or whatever. So he's been snowboarding for basically all his life and, you know, basically it was passed on from his father and his father's father and so on. And I was like, wow, that's, that's really cool. And, um, so anyway, this uh, gentleman, his name was Salim, he was telling Jeremy about, um, you know, how his dad basically taught him how to snowboard. And I think they called it lazy board or something like that. But uh, anyway, he said basically, you know, you just gotta do your thing or whatever, and once you get the hang of it, you'll, uh, you'll be flying. Like you'll, you know, you'll feel like you're flying, right? And, but the thing is, in between the process of learning and then flying, you know, so to speak, you're gonna fall down a lot of times. But you gotta get back up and get back on and, you know, continue on down the hill. And I thought, wow, you know, that's such a good lesson. And, you know, it could be applied to anything. It doesn't have to be snowboarding, you know. But, um, you know, life is gonna knock you down, but you gotta get back up. You gotta get back on and continue forward, you know. I mean, I know a lot of people who have quit snowboarding and they say it sucks or whatever. And hey, if that was you, you know, granted to your, your opinion, it could be skiing, whatever, it doesn't matter. But the point is, you know, a lot of times, you know, I mean, it, it's easy to get frustrated when you're down and out, right? It's easy to say, screw this, I quit. But the thing is, when you get back up and you try it again, it, even if you get knocked down or fall off, you know, another five times, 20 times, 100 times, whatever. As long as you decide to get back on, you know, get up, I should say, and get back on, and, you know, try it again, eventually you're gonna get the hang of it. And, you know, for myself, I love snowboarding. I mean, I swear that, you know, every winter, you know, when I go down to Mount Baker, and it's a super deep, fluffy day, and it's been snowing like crazy all night, you know, in the first run of the day when I'm bombing down, I'm, you know, racing past everyone, you know, for first tracks and stuff, I feel like I'm 13, you know, years old all over again, you know what I mean? And, I mean, I can't even, like, begin to tell you how it feels to me. I just feel so alive, you know? And, uh, you know, I'm, like, hooting and hollering and screaming and laughing. And for me, that's, like, the most fun thing in the world, you know? And... When you get back on, you know, and of course, you know, here I'm going to relate it to business because that's the whole point, you know, business success tips, right? <laughs> but when you get back on, you know, the hundredth time and you just keep, you know, you refuse to stay down, that you're going to get back up, that's when you're going to have those breakthroughs and that's when you're going to, you know, it's going to click for you. You're finally going to start making money, you know, or you're finally going to learn how to drive enough traffic or whatever it is, you know what I mean? It's easy to give up. Anyone can give up. Anyone can quit. But it's the people that stick it out no matter what that take the lick, you know, take the licks and get back up. I mean, shit, I've... Well, actually, it's snowboarding. I've been pretty lucky. I think I've only broken my wrist. But I mean, I mean, dirt biking. I've man, I've wrecked myself so many times. Dirt bike is not even, you know, it's not even funny. But the thing is, I always get back up. 
I will always continue to snowboard. I will always continue to ride, you know, my dirt bikes, and I will always continue to, you know, push myself forward as an entrepreneur because I know that, you know, if I decide to quit, that's it, game over. But I know that if I keep pushing it through, then that's when the, the real joys in life are going to happen, you know. And if you watch my last video that I just shot, um, you know, you only live once, you know, and you got to make the most of it. I won't go and do it because that was a pretty heavy, somber video. But, you know, life throws you curveballs. Get back up, you know, get back on, make it happen. Don't give up on yourself and your dreams because, you know, when, when you have that breakthrough, when you have those super joyous moments in life, that's what it's all about, you know? And so whether you're in business, whether you're doing whatever it is you want to do that you absolutely deserve to knock it out of the park and you deserve to get back up, you deserve to keep pushing forward. Anyway, you guys, that's it. I could probably, you know, ramble on for a long time. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear your comments. And uh, please, as always, you know, like and share. And we'll see you in another video. Thanks.